YouTube, welcome back. Another Dying Light 2 episode. Uh, let's get down to business. We've got Ms. Lauren joining us yet again. Uh, in the previous episode, we've been working on some main story missions. Uh, in this episode, we have to climb or find our way up to the top of this really, really big building here. To start off with, we could, we start at the bottom of it. And, yeah. Let's jump into the comms and um, subscribe to the channel. Are you ready? Yup. All right, let's go. What up, Aiden? Hmm. Can I get a res? Maybe. Is this fat little bastard coming up? So I, uh, there's some fat little chubba. Oh, he blows up. What are you sighing about? I'm gonna die. Because of me? Yeah. Look, I dropped down and I didn't realize it was gonna take as long as it took to open my chute. It took a real long time to open my chute and I just splattered on a car. No one's more disappointed in it than I am. The guy watching this video is just like, man, I can't believe this idiot just died the second the video started. And I too can't believe it. She didn't get a blow! By the way, this uh, this wasn't part of the plan. I don't know how we got into this bit. Actually, I do. Now I remember. Some idiot fell off of the building. I'm going to slowly start making my way towards the yellow dot if you feel like joining. If you don't, you don't have to. So stinky looking. Okay, let's keep on keeping on. did it, Squire. That was all me, by the way. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. Rose already waiting for you, pilgrim. Raiders men got a huge order for lamps. Oh look at that, it's daytime now. Perfect timing. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. And they're setting up the lamps you got us to secure the surrounding areas. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Wow, oh, fuck me. It's Ro. Power's out again. Yeah, but it's a good thing the sun's coming up. Online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for... Just leave it. And get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. How dark is Leon, too dark? Hold on. We're coming for you. That guy's got COVID. On the left there. He thought we wouldn't know, but we do. If a war breaks down, it will this be guy. Ah, oh, never mind. He's just a smoker. Along, Same thing, I guess. Uh, okay, so... Sorry, we're actually going the wrong way. I got distracted by the COVID smoker. We gotta speak to this guy. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro. Thanks, Vabowski. Ah. <sighs> Man, they're really setting this up to be, uh, to be a mission and a half. My fucking lighter, lighter, my fucking torch keeps turning off. Get myself a coffee to go. Bean and gone. I like coffee. I do like tea. No, I don't really. Fucking thought that was a zombie right there. Oh man. Mushroom. That was a good good placement. All right, we got the zombie galore in here. How many are we talking? A lot. Oh, you waking them up? No, I'm not. You I'm, cr up. I'm crouching. You must be the one waking them up. You wan. Now he's coming for me. I wan. On my way. Yo, fuck, bro. There's volatiles in here. Seriously? Like a heart attack. If you use your sense, there's some zombies that are moot moving um and a little bit darker pink than the others those are the volatiles <sighs> oh me. yeah the kind of red ones yeah this could be fun yeah oh sh we're spotted go oh you're fucking dead you're dead Fuck, how do we get out of here? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, it's this way. Are they still chasing us? I don't think they're chasing us. No. Okay, fucking all right. Just settle down, calm the fuck down. We can kill volatiles, we've done it before. I mean, you need to be telling yourself this. How'd they fucking spot us? So I don't think we're really supposed to fight anything in here. 
We just gotta stay hidden. Oh, oh fucking you zombies. Still the zombies are awake. Oh fuck, man! It's because we ran. There's a volatile like right here. I got zombies chasing my butt. I got zombies chasing me. I can't get past them. I'm gonna have to take them out. You do what you gotta do. Yeah, I've drawn him fucking... away from that room. Oh, this is gonna be chalk in a sec. I'm so dead. Yeah. <clears throat> I like to move it, move it. Y'all like to move it, move it. Oh man. Dude's got no fucking chill. Get through here, dickhead. Uh, so I made it. Bro, I'm in the That's lobby. Good. Yeah. Roger that. I mean, Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like it's better than bad. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. How are you going to get here? I'm just going to have to slowly take these guys out. I mean, you could do what I did. I don't know if you've got the stomach for it, but you could try. I, I just ran straight past everything. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> Excuse me. Eventually you get to a certain point where the volatiles can't follow you. <gasps> Oh yeah, they're all in this fucking. Keep coming! Ki get rid of the slide! Get rid of the slide! Yep, they can't get oh past God, here. Oh my they were all in that one room, man. Oh, in the hallway? Yep, I got got. Yeah, I got hit. All right, well, you made it. Now let's just have a little little squeeze down here because I don't reckon there's any volatiles in here. So should we just do the thing? I guess we are. <laughs> Next minute I just get yeeted. Oh, okay, now he's hugging me. <laughs> Little jumpy bastard. Pretty sure that's how the mission was supposed to go. I knew sooner or later this game was going to push us into zomp like volatile areas. what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The black guy. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Aw, oh, man, we didn't take his letter in the end? Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Ro. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Man, if I had known that choosing that option wouldn't have taken his letter, ultimately, I'd have taken his letter. Feels bad. All right. I'm just getting some loot from these guys.
I use that term really loosely considering they all give me nothing. Yeah, I just got a whole lot of empty. Yeah. An uh, uncommon trophy. Nice. Yeah, I got a couple of trophies. Nothing, nothing crazy. I think I found Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Chris? Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. Yo. We got zombies. Oh, okay. Hopefully we don't have volatiles, but yeah, if it's just infected, that's okay. Did one of the fuse boxes. Did you? Alright, I got one here. A reminder, for your safety and that of those around you, please maintain a distance of two meters from all others. Cover your mouth and nose. Yeah, I did a fuse. Remember to wash your hands often. So on a, the third the one, there they are um, killing fire kit on the direct desk in the corner. Oh yeah. Only to assume food after heating it to a temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. Oh man, you're fucking them up. It's not me, that's you. Oh, yeah. Well, if you say so. For your safety and that of those around you, please maintain Actually, I think a distance of two meters from oh, the yeah, yeah. in the building. Cover your mouth. All right. I think we're gonna go back over to this one now. Careful of the wires on the floor. Through the air, via surfaces, or through direct contact. Only consume. I can tell. I can see a little A thing. We're gonna have to connect some cables soon. Degrees Celsius for a minimum of two minutes. Come on, kid. Let's jump straight into that. All right, let's go find where A connects to. Hello. Okay. I think I restored Don't the power. Don't let me touch that. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. Did we just take oh, the yeah. cable, or are we connecting it somewhere? Well, there's nothing in here. Crap! I've just grabbed Don't the cable. Med kit, though. I need you here. Leon's gone. Fuck. I've still got that fucking cable. I think it's gonna go downstairs. I found a hole in the wall. Okay, well. Uh, uh vent. I'm gonna crawl and throw it. See where it went. Okay, well, I've connected cable A. Oh, good job, buddy. Oh, well. That was fun. Didn't go anywhere? It went to Leon. <laughs> yep. Man, getting heaps of military med kits at the moment. Oh, you went downstairs, that's right. Yeah, I'm right down the bottom. Now we've got B cable. Are that they're giving us military med kits? Yeah, it is a little bit. Okay, Two so I'm, I'm going to have to take this cable down here by the look of it. How do I swim? Okay. I'm just having a bit of a sus before I grab the cable. Oh, 
I fell. <laughs> Somehow I tripped over a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Just like real life. This? Oh no, they're not zombies. They're just dead things. Oh, okay, so we're going. Oh man, this is uh. How fucking long are these cables, man? Dude, I'm gonna get so lost. I might as well head back and start grabbing this cable because this looks like a long distance. Do you want to try and find where the cable is going to lead to? Oh. Oh, tub. Oh. We're actually looking for the cable. Oh, wait. No, here is where the cable goes. Can you come to where I am? Ryan. And then just stay here. I shall go find the cable. And there's no way this cable is like 60 meters long, right? Well, I wouldn't believe it, but it must be. <laughs> I'm also going, like, swimming with a fucking electrical cable, but... Okay. No wonder that's gonna... Oh, no, I should Oh, the cable me length, it actually tells you how long it is. 64 meters. Long. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck on anything. Are you swimming back already? Yeah. Oh, it's not going to reach. <sighs> Fuck, there's got to be a shorter way. It's got to be from the left, man. Oh, the cable's gotten stuck and shit. I've had to let it go. How'd you do that? Just hold X. Oh, okay. There's a door that I can open. It'll be a bit of a shortcut. Look at us little problem solvers. Try this again. <sighs> Finding anything? Yeah, there's some um, tools all over those shelves and a crate that I opened. Nice, I got the cable connected. Alright, the elevators are working. Oh, there's freaking All heaps right. of them down here. I did it. Yeah. Ever gotten a metal pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the 8th floor. Floor number eight. Uh. Alright, let's go. Okay. Just happened. 
elevator stop working. Are you able to Where raise me? Am no, I above I you? I can't see you. Yep. Yeah, fuck? man, I can't even get to you. What the fuck just happened? Somehow you ended up outside of the elevator. Yeah, it, se it seemed like I was like standing on top of it. Well, standing, lying on top of it. Just dead. Well, I'm where we need to be. That was weird. It just sent me all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> oh, good. Dude, that was the weirdest death I've had. Whatever. You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... I know you really tried to help them. Who is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Okay. Wait with the squad until Matt arrives. The jury detector can be used to discover inhibitors hidden inside Jerry crates on the locations to expand the area. Activate radio towers. Cool. It ain't the Ritz, but what can you do? Alright. Be right back. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in for this episode of the Dying Light 2 series. Um, bit of a bit more of an interesting episode, story-wise. Um, we're progressing a little bit along with uh, the main mission. We're coming across some volatiles, which was interesting. Normally, Ms. Lauren and I will only ever come across volatiles when we're near UV lights. Just a little bit of a, a backup so that we've got somewhere safe we can run if we're getting beaten up too much. Um, so that was that was interesting, but uh, yeah stick around for the next episode uh, when it comes out tomorrow so that uh, you can see where we go next with all this bye